Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Did you see the girl Sid brought back with him? I did. Poor thing, all dressed in dirty rags. What are you doing out of the dungeon? I mean... Uh, so long as Sid's all right with it, I... What are you doing out of the dungeon? I mean... Right now, Clive. You're not gonna go mad again, are you? It's a one. Are you all right now, Clive? You're not gonna go mad again, are you? Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You got out else? You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Not find a better price than that. Is that all? Well, so will it be? It'd last you a good while. Thank me later. Not my best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. Not my best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. Best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. This third is you, you newcomer. I'd been cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. There's not a day goes by, I don't count my blessings. Eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Fog cool. You look like someone's shedding your shoes. Well, whatever's wrong with you, keep your chin up, eh? Stops you drowning. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. I had so many uses. Good day. Or is it? Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If 
you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it.
you learn everything you needed? <laughs> you dung had so many uses. Clive, wasn't it? I heard you got locked up. Ah, don't look so down. It happens to the best of us. Well, us who are halfway interesting, anyhow. Clive, wasn't it? I heard you got locked up. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting about the place like peas in a bucket. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Interesting. You'd know if you learned your letters. Uh, so ah, back on your feet, are you? Make sure you stay that way. I've enough to worry about without you deciding to do yourself a mischief. Ah, back on your feet, are you? Make sure you stay that way. I thought I had escaped them, but the royal army may be at her gates very long. The lion didn't work. I nodded the straw. I'll have to try something else. The girl you came with is still sleeping. Don't disturb her, please. The girl you came with is still sleeping. Don't disturb her, please. This third is the hunter with his torch held high pursues his subtle prey. But winter winds put out his light before the break of day. Crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. 
Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it.
straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts.
is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! Who goes there? This one's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice! You're late! Get in trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail! We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Come on. Shit! 
hit! Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're going to find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped.
Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Weighing you down. Finished, are you? I'm sure I'll be calling on your help again if you've a mind to lend it. A carpenter's work is never done around here. I'm sure I'll be calling on your help again if you've a mind to lend it. A carpenter's work is never done around here. I see I'm busy here. So, will it be? And? Not too confident around the ladies, eh? If there's one thing I've learned about the fairer sex, it's that you don't want to keep them waiting. Not too confident around the ladies, eh? If there's one thing I've learned about the fairer sex. The fellow back there is an intelligencer, tasked with tracking down Sid. Got separated from his unit and left for dead, till his target found him and brought him back here. Half wish he'd left him there to get the royal pardon. The old the fellow back there is an intelligencer, tasked with tracking down Sid. Sid. Got separated from his unit and left for dead till his target found him and brought him back. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds... painful. It's its fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop moaning. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Sort of... I hear your little friend's woken up. I expect she's wondering where you got to. If you can read. I hear your little friend's woken up. I expect she's wondering where you got to. Kenneth is a little. Oh, you. It is. 
Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Pretty man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. 
Your friend needs to get dressed. Let's get this fixed before someone does it. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe. 